one of the things that has to be carefully monitored within any project. Um, so you'll see this risk register has a separate group for uh, the projects that are on the go. Um, and then uh, as, a, as risks are identified, um, project manager or whoever else can come in here and add the risk. So you'll see data identified is automatically completed again by automation, as well as allocating myself as a risk owner as I've added it. Then I can specify um, the status of the risk. So it's active, what type of risk it is. It's a technical risk. Um, the probability of it occurring, so high, and you'll see that the probability score is automatically calculated to three. Um, impact is medium. Uh, and again, the impact score is, is then calculated based on that. And then a complete risk rate is worked out based on both of those two scores. And a risk level is determined um, as red and the others are amber and green, obviously. So probability is also worked out. And then I can specify what the anticipated loss would be if this risk were to occur. Uh, expected loss based on the probability. What would, be, what would it cost if we actually had to address this? And based on that, um, it will state what the, the recommended response should be. So again, this is a formula looking at what the, the you know, comparing the loss versus the actual response cost, and then give either a, um, a response recommendation to mitigate or to just track the issue. So all the details in a board, um, and then to give a good overview, we uh, can look at the dashboard for the risk management, for the risk register. So dashboards are really great um, ways to, to visualize um, your data and get an overview all in one place. What's, what's great about it is that you can link multiple boards to a particular dashboard. So you can collate information around all of your projects into one place. Um, and see it really easily. So these are the kind of reports that project managers or program managers are expected to produce and that um, your C-levels execs might look at and just to get a quick overview of, a, um, of, of the situation. So you can, as I mentioned, you can, you can link multiple boards and get an overview of everything holistically, but you can also even just link one board. So risk management, although it's got, it's got the high level board as well, pulls in information for, from there, but a lot of it is around the risk register board. Um, and so what that does is just allows you to compile all of the visual elements into one place um, on, on, a, on one dashboard. So great uh, battery level looks at uh, the type of risk we got, red, amber, and green, just gives you a really quick, easy overview of, uh, of the status, uh, works out the average um, uh, score, risk score, looks at the uh, loss cost analysis, the type of risks you're looking at, and then um, a table just uh, filtering out all the red risks, the really important risks, just to highlight those and emphasize those.